What is going on guys and girls, Sarge B here and we are back with some more Sky Factory. I have been playing the, oops, let's get that back in the gear. I have been playing this uh, like non-stop since last episode to finally get ourselves a Tinker's Construct Smeltery right here. So we have our Seer Tank with all of the lava that we need. Well, it's about 1,000, that's about one bucket. Uh, so it should do uh, quite a bit. Uh, I'm realizing now that I think we still need like a casting basin to get stuff or at least um Yeah, I think a casting basin probably let's see what it's called Basin yep um We just need one two three four five six seven eight. Uh, we have one Extra tinkers construct break in here, but uh, in the meantime, I think we just need to uh I think we should do a test and see if we can take these iron ore chunks and uh, put them in here and see how much iron we get for them. So let's just toss that in there and uh, let's see how it how it works. Um, can these just go straight in there? No, those don't burn. Okay, well that's fine. Um, so in the meantime, we I was thinking about finally building a cobblestone generator for us to uh, finally put together and to automate our whole cobblestone process uh, um which ah, my throat just got dry there all of a sudden but uh if we look up cobblestone generator come on all right so this thingy right here i guess these are all the different tiers you can get but uh if we do this right here we just need water lava and some glass and some cobblestone so i don't know if it needs to be powered or anything um it doesn't look like it needs to be so Oh, my throat is really dry for some reason today. But um, we have our glass right in here. Uh, we're going to take our clay right here. And we are going to... Uh, whoops. Oh, well, I guess we can check this off on our achievement book. But uh, we will smash this into bits. Pull this out. Make ourselves another bucket here. Oops. Whatever. We can make it up there, right? Take this bucket. Uh, we should actually probably throw some cobblestone into here. So we can get lava going. And then, uh, in the meantime, let us take our, uh, we need one bucket of water and then another bucket of, uh, and then we'll need to make another one, but we have another, uh, piece in here, I think. Well, no, that's porcelain clay. All right. So we'll just put another one down, break it, get another bucket, and we'll throw them both into the furnace, smelt them away. Whoops. That's not what we wanted to put in there. Uh, let's see maybe three of them it should take and then uh, while we're waiting for that I say we smash up uh, two maybe four pieces of uh, Cobblestone here so we can get the last pieces of grout that we need so we'll do two more as sand and Then we just need two extra pieces of clay which we actually have right here one two one two Four pieces of grout this will actually only get us four extra bricks which is hey we got our things there um hopefully this will be this i don't think it'll be enough we need what two more pieces roughly that shouldn't be too hard just throwing one more Alrighty, so i just jumped ahead a little bit we got ourselves a casting base in here so we can just plop you down right there i believe that's how that should work and it looks like we have some of our, we have two ingots worth of iron in there, which is actually quite awesome. Uh, once we get this lava up and running, we can do our, um, whatever, our iron casts, um, get some the cobblestone generator up and running. That's what I meant to say. In the meantime, let's see if some dust through here, see if we can get more iron, though that probably only comes from, um... I think that only comes from gravel so let's turn some of this into gravel here we'll do nine pieces and then we will just uh we'll run this through here eat an apple in the meantime well let's not put apple stew sieves um let's put gravel through sieves and see if we can get some iron pieces and then see if we can maybe get a whole block of iron going if we do that is a big jump into the uh iron age and we can start doing some uh, serious progress Maybe even construct some uh, Tinker's Construct tools out of stuff. Alrighty, so there we go. It looks like we have three extra iron ore pieces. Um, 
I don't remember how many iron ore pieces go into making it's possibly four. So let's do another nine here. That was the weirdest configuration I've ever done. And that's only about six, isn't it? All right, well, let's just, you know, finish off the pattern here, I suppose. There we go. And then just uh, do that. That was 10. Oh, well. Sieve on some gravel. And then after this, I think our lava will be ready and we can go get uh, some more water. Actually, we should be putting water through uh, some of our uh, oak barrels right there so that that is ready when uh, we need it. Should probably already make an infinite water source. Don't know why I haven't done that yet. We only really need one more bucket of water for that. So, you know what? Let's throw you in there and let's go carve out a nice little area to put an infinite water source, eh? Let's, we can just put it right here, right? Um, so we will need, uh, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it out of this and some planks. If we can do it out of planks, I'm not sure if we can, but, um, let's do this, that, and we'll put one more right along there. Come on. There we go. And then like so, and then we'll just pick up our other bucket of water right here uh, let's put that into our hot bar here and then we shall place it down place it down right here and take our wooden hand and we'll place one piece of wood right there come on is that good uh, sure possibly let's find out alrighty yeah, I guess that's, yep, that is what we, that should be good. Actually, that should look actually kind of cool as well. So let's pick up the water. We'll just, whoops, let's put down the wood right here and let's place it down right there. And now we only need uh, one more thing of water and we should be good. You are almost ready. Like a couple more seconds. You are almost ready with lava as well. That'll be awesome. And then we can uh, finally make our cobblestone generator automated, which I don't know how it will work. But I suppose that's this is actually only 920 fluid. Interesting. All right. Well, can I put in another sapling? Well, that's interesting. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to get you up to full? I don't think there's anything smaller that can go into there. Uh oh. I don't want to have to break it either. Uh, strange. Hmm. Alright, let's see if there is an additional way to do this. Alrighty, so it looks like we got ourselves, uh, we got our water all set up and ready to go. And our lava's all done cooking, so there we go. Lava in the clay bucket. We got our infinite water source here. And uh, now we're just going to go throw them in the crafting table with our cobblestone right here. Shoo, oops. Let's do that, and then it's that, and then our glass, our water, and our lava. Hey, we got ourselves a cobblestone generator. Oh, and we even get to reuse the bucket from the uh, water. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's see. Where should we put this down? I was thinking we can put it down, like, right here, right? Do you just, like, work? Now I don't... I don't understand. How do you work? How do I... So it has four pieces of cobblestone inside of it, but how do I get it out? Interesting. So it looks like we're able to get it out with some pipe. So I think if we... Pipe? Like from, I don't know, a transfer pipe, perhaps, or a, I am really not sure. Um, transfer pipe, I mean, we could use a hopper, but that requires a little bit, um, that requires a little bit of uh, iron that we don't have right now. Um, I'm not sure if we can make it out of anything else, but uh, let's see, hopper, nope, doesn't look like it, it's a hopper hook interesting um we can make a what's a blaze hopper 
interesting but um yeah i don't know um we don't have the iron for that right now i'm wondering if i just make a chest and put a chest like on top of it perhaps we will get stuff out of it but um let's let's see let's go see what happens if we put a chest on top yeah no that doesn't look like it's working well now it says as cobblestone times zero i don't get you oh we do oh if we just right click on it we get cobblestone from it huh oh that's sweet so now we have all the cobblestone we need coming from there oh we don't even need this chest up here then uh, let's make sure we get it all right awesome oh that's sweet um i guess we don't really need this lava or water here anymore however let's just let's just do this oops let's break you all right cool so now it looks like we can uh now that we have this all automated and set up we can just yeah all right that's awesome almost a full stack of cobblestone now let's uh let's get that into some uh gravel and run it through the sieve and get more iron and hopefully we can get uh everything up and running then what's our uh, let's see what is next in the achievement book so um upgrade an existing tinkers construct tool with a metal part automate hey we automated that cool um all these we have to do as well but um let's see make a watering can so how do we do how do we make a watering can let's see watering can from tiny progressions or deco craft no it looks like we can't make that is it from extra utilities i don't know it's stone around a bowl what about this one oh iron around that around with bone meal oh interesting so i guess it's this because it doesn't look like we can make a watering can from deco craft so let's do this stone around a bowl and i think we have the stone that we need we just need a wooden bowl so let's make that four bowls put you there oops and then get stone let's find out shall we hey look a watering can awesome i don't know how we are to use this maybe if we go over here and do we fill it up Oh yeah, look at we just fill it up from water source. Interesting. And then I guess we get to use this on plants and stuff. Oh yeah. Cool. Alrighty. So we will save that, but we will check it off in our achievement book. And then I guess we have to um we have to make that island 25 blocks away from here that uh we can use for farmland. So I guess we'll make that soon. But in the meantime, what is the what are the chances for getting iron? whatever that's not how you spell iron iron or chunks or whatever yeah how do we first how do we get these is there any way besides nope doesn't look like it um how do we get you out of a sieve and it looks like there is a 20 percent chance for every one of them i guess that is uh that's how that works 20 percent chance so by the time we get through with this, we should have four or so it says, right? It should be about, about four by the time we do 25, it should be quite a bit of iron that should have come out. All right, we are already down to 15 in just about a second. All right, and we have three already. All right, awesome. So I already got another one before, and that one was thrown into the uh, into the smeltery. Hopefully, we can get two more here, and then uh, unload it out into the uh, the whatever it is basin, and get a full block out of it. And that will be our first full block of iron, which will be sweet if we can get it. Or perhaps maybe we'll even make it into a. Uh, we'll do some casts later, but we need a uh, gold to do some of those, or at least brass or aluminum. I think were the uh, were the requirements. So let's see. We have yeah, we have four iron ore pieces, which is awesome. There we go. One more. We can just stick you right along in here. Pop you into there. That will smelt, and we will have eight. No, we will have six ingots. So we need two more of them. But uh, in the meantime, let's see. Does copper combined with does copper combine with iron at all? 
um i don't think it should actually let's check materials and you that i which i believe i put into here so let's see what we can do here um wish there was an easy way to get past get to the uh original page um click 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 so many tools but um introduction tools tool materials i guess let's go to the smeltery and let us see that is the smelter we have right now uh the seared furnace don't know what that is tinker's tank bow materials bow all right well that's not what we need obviously let's see how do was how does one make like manulin or who knows paper prismarine tool materials well that doesn't that's not too helpful as to how to get certain things but um i believe we can get copper things correct these just look like tool tool materials let's see um copper all right so we can do copper to get some things here we can get pickaxes and matic what's a matic for i think that's for farming um farming and perhaps an axe who knows but uh swords pickaxes we can get all those things but uh it believe we need um can be cast from molten copper um we just need to put make uh things like uh if we do wooden pickaxe heads um but i believe we need a tool station for that and then we can turn that into other heads and put casts in there for them and whatnot but i don't think we can make casts out of iron so let's go see if we have any other materials right in here uh, we have one singular gold ore piece, um, and that seems to be about it. Oh, even more copper. Uh, that's some more aluminum, lead ore. Looks like we have four of those, nickel, and it doesn't seem like there is much else in here. So it looks like this is gonna have to be one of the things that I grind intensely off camera. But um, I think that'll be about it for today. A rather short episode just to show up on progress. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Oh, we even have even more lava in here, which is which should come in handy for the uh, smeltery over there. But uh, in the meantime, let's do let's see what we can combine here with our new copper pieces that I left in the chest. Great. All right, let's pull out our copper, our gold. Let's see what we can make here. Can make two additional copper pieces i hope they don't combine in the smeltery i don't think they do what's like how do you make bronze bronze that is or brass i believe it's called brass aluminum brass ingot okay so i guess you can only make what's molten brass fluid tank alloying molten copper to molten zinc okay so that's how you make brass um but we have copper, so let's go stick all the copper we got. Three of them. That should make about eight. And then we might be able to make uh, some cast out of that. Let's see if we wanted to make a simple pickaxe cast. Pickaxe. Uh, that is not how you spell. Pickaxe head cast. There's a clay cast that you can make. Huh. So I guess you can throw clay into there as well. Can make it from gold brass or aluminum brass all right so you can't make you can make it from brass so that means we'd need zinc and copper if we don't want to uh or there's aluminum brass which i don't know how to make that let's see what it goes into aluminum brass molten aluminum brass smelting alloying molten aluminum it's molten copper wow so only one it's a one to three ratio that is insane um we do not have that right now, I do not believe. We need to do some more grinding for that. But uh, yeah, that seems to be about it. Actually, let's throw some in right now and see if we can get any out of it. We have six ingots. Hey, we're almost... Hey, we have at least one ingot of uh, molten aluminum brass, it seems. Two ingots of molten aluminum brass, which is pretty awesome. So if we wanted to make a head right now, a pickaxe head, we could do that. All right, screw a short episode, right? We can, uh, let's just make it right now. We need to make a, uh, 
pattern table or a uh, tool table tool table is that a thing no uh table let's just see here um let's see tinker's construct uh tinker's construct and let's do table stencil table that's that is what it is i believe and then we need a casting table but in the meantime let's see we need a blank all right so all these things you know what we'll build off camera we'll come back in next episode and uh, we'll see about the progress we made other than that i hope you guys have enjoyed i have certainly yet again been enjoying this series a whole lot and uh, i will hopefully see you all in the next episode catch you there